No, today's job. Today's job, today's job. Welcome back. So, we have this Philadelphia's tree. That's, I cut down last year, but I'm just gonna trim the leaders. Pine tree, gonna trim that. Have a new member at work today. So this is the first day with this bad boy. HLA extension, pole extension, 86. And there's other bits of garden work to be done. Beach hedge, a couple of bits and pieces around. Laurel hedge here as well. So it's gonna crack on guys. Video. Hello YouTube, this is Damien again from Mr Tidy Garden and I just want to thank everyone for taking the time out to watch my videos for the 600 subs. Um, it's it's very refreshing to know that there's actually 600 people subscribed to the channel that want to watch the videos, so thanks very much. And if you know anyone that wants to watch the videos, share them, like them and get them to subscribe to the channel. It'd be fantastic, you know, it keeps me motivated and I want to reach a thousand subs. And we can kick on from there. But anyway, what I want to talk about today is how pricing work is affected by our self-esteem and confidence. So, as gardeners, we get calls to come and view properties and go look at work, give quotations. But it's on the first meeting with the client, really, that this is affected by um, our self-esteem and our confidence. No. Your confidence is how you portray yourself in front of others. Your self-esteem is how you truly feel about yourself. So it's very easy to fake confidence, but it's very hard to fake self-esteem because self-esteem is something that's innate inside us. And, you know, it's, it, it's affected. It affects all parts of our life, all the different variables of our life. So anyway... Your self-esteem, when you're coming to your client, you know, they can pick up on that. They can pick up if you've low self-esteem, especially, you know, when I was in my younger years, I remember I could see guys and, you know, that would take advantage of me. They knew I was naive. They knew I had low self-esteem, that I wasn't confident in what I was doing. And they had me doing jobs for them that other gardeners would have ran from. Because they knew, you know, I was in a place of scarcity. I had a scarcity mindset. You know, I had no work. And, you know, you take... That's a trap as well that we could fall into as well now. When you're starting off in business, you can make false promises. You know, you could walk yourself into work. And then when you're doing the job, you're on after underpricing the job. And as I said before, you're kicking yourself up and down the garden while you're doing the job. So what I want to help you guys with here now is being in a place of love when you're pricing the work now let me explain this because you're going to be saying damien what do you mean love what does love to do with pricing work love meaning that you love yourself when you're pricing the work you're in such love with yourself and how you feel about yourself that it is absolutely pushed and transferred onto your client and also that the price that you give them mightn't be the cheapest price mightn't be the most expensive price or it could be the most expensive price you don't know but you're pricing the work with love because you're going to give that client an outstanding performance an outstanding finish you're not going to be rushing on the job because you have not underpriced yourself you're feeling very good about yourself you've high self-esteem on the job and confidence on the job because you're getting enough money and you're going to make enough profit on the job because you can walk away from the job then and say to yourself hmm i have got enough here you know and that's that's what it's all about is that feel good factor and when you walk away and your client is happy with the job you get an outstanding review and an outstanding referral so that's where i just wanted to kind of go with this video now it's like you know it's all about self-esteem and confidence when you're going out and you're pricing the work so guys always remember this it's all under control over and out and enjoy the rest of the video I got
thing every spring isn't it Christmas trees Christmas trees Christmas trees every spring every spring there we go we get this one out the gap now as well those all under control guys Christmas control Christmas tree control over and out now here is the finish here we go Philadelphia's tree trimmed and a lovely job done to the pine tree, undercut it. And a tidy up on the garden, beach edge cut, privet cut. All the beds de-weeded and I threw down a weed treatment. Put down a weed treatment on the paths as well. But look, this is the nature of it now, it's a rental. So we're in, we're out, and that's basically it. Um, it's all under control. Thanks for watching the video. And um, yeah, catch you on the next one.